guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. What the weight division? Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Kiesa! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has is so good that you're un you're in danger the entire time. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Just out of range with that right hook. Effective strike there by Chiesa, though. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with his beautiful leg kick. Big kick. Got the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Lee's kick is blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Throwing that jab, no good. It's such a fast leg kick. Look at how he's 
turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Takedown attempt starting to pile up, and he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, big left hand there. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, straight right. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller... Oh! What a to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Straight right. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big kick. Body kick now by Lee. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. 60 seconds. Finish job. Finish job. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. Oh! Oh, and kick home, and now 
his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Kiesa's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. The knee is blocked there. Nice defense by Lee. Boom. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him for the third pitch. Back to the feet. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Back to the... Oh, he hurt! Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Massive right hand. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Nice kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more. Oh, All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots to the top. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh! Oh, he's got, he's got he got him! Well, you've got to admire the approach there. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight, lands the huge shot cleanly, and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, so there he is, the man.